Hey folks, how you doing? Joe here. Today we got a fun day. We're going to go explore a creek that I've never been to. We're going to try and pick some leeks and catch some fish and do a little catch and cook lunch. Calm down. So Polaris sent me this 2001 Ranger to test out for a while and to promote on my channel. I do have to send it back to them, but I'm happy for the opportunity to use it. I've been doing things like yard cleanup, lots of, lots of wood removal, and uh, running the kids around and stuff like that. It's been a really, really handy tool actually. But today we're going to strap the canoe on top of it and go drive down a bunch of logging roads and try and find this stream that I've looked up on Google Maps and uh, I've been told that there might be some brook trout in there. Okay, we're not here, but I know that this is a good spot to find some wild leeks. So we're gonna pull over, go off into the forest for a minute, see if we can pull some out of the ground. Now the leeks are gonna be fully ripe right now, nice and big and easy to pull out of the ground. So I don't need a shovel or anything. I should be able to do it with my hands or if I need a stick, I can use that. But we gotta get into this forest proper and find some first. It is buggy in here. Here's a better patch. Right there, you can see they're flattened out quite a bit and yellowy. And then here's another patch. So we'll take a few from each. And you gotta love the bird noises in the spring here. Just singing away. Beautiful. Beauty. So usually when they're this far gone, yeah, they're right at the surface. You don't even really need to dig at all. I can see the bulbs all right here, just underneath this leaf litter, which is perfect. Nice and easy. Easy access for old Joe. There we go, beautiful. Beauty. I'm only gonna need a few. I'll take that many from this little patch, you're not supposed to de deplete the patches. So I got three good ones and a small one from this one. And we'll just head over to the next patch. There you can see my bounty. They just wipe clean. They just wipe clean. So we'll take these with us and fry them up in the cast iron with trout if we get any. <laughs>
Here we go. There she is, the creek. I've been here before, but I haven't been past. I got all these log jams here, and this side is pretty open. So we'll try this side. We'll go in and see what's up over here. Pretty shallow. She's shallow. jumping right here and I hear frogs croaking so those are both very good signs I got my swift pack boat my Adirondack 13.6 with me because it's beat up and this seems like it's gonna be a slog pulling over logs and stuff like that all right we just gotta park this thing and we're on our way good place to me fine there but I will bring my key with me just in case like the trusty hidden woodsman day rock with me today I'm go in the back I got my saw axe some cooking stuff just the essentials you know just the essentials all right gotta get this, this guy down into there stepped right in the water so no concerns about getting wet <laughs> it's already done pretty warm out today though hopefully the trout will be biting and hopefully there will be trout there will be trout there will be trout all right well good time for some sunglasses i think Hear that frog? Oh, I just heard a fish jump over there. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. There's all these lily pads too. That's a good sign. This is a little channel over here. I think I'm going to go down this one. This is where the flow seems to be coming from. That part over to the right seems stagnant. There are deer flies all over my microphone, if you can hear them. It's a perfect day. the frog I'm gonna keep this guy um, I might have a, a hard time um, catching some enough trout to, to make a meal so I'm, even if I catch a few small ones I'm fine with that so we'll keep this guy and throw him on a stringer and keep down on our way um, seeing what we can do in this little creek so far there's been nothing I've had to cut I'm going over a log right now Scooch past this guy. You can just but I'm sure I will come to places I do need to clear my way through. I don't have a clue how far I'll be able to get through here or what. Very shallow. Very shallow. A 
Okay, I got a little guy. Let's get him in the boat. I just had a big one on, and I tried to, or a bigger one on, and I tried to turn the camera on, and I lost it. Back. Silly person. Oh, there's a little baby one following it, but I would have preferred the bigger one. Now I'll take any. Oh, something just hit it. Come on, hit it again. Yes! 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 No! 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 They're not committing. Oh, I hit a lily pad. messed up two in a row there guys can you believe it but you can't believe it and I can see them they're following it and everything I think I've messed this spot up Nice. Nice. So this guy's a little better size. We're going to keep him too, obviously, and uh, throw him on the stringer. Nice day. Bugs aren't even bad. It's pretty warm. It's full sun. I'm in this creek this, uh, where you'd think the bugs would be horrible. I sprayed myself with bug spray right when I first got here. But I haven't had a problem. They were worse at the where I left the side by side. Okay, <clears throat> down the creek we go. Turn this thing around. Oh, no. oh! No. Just scare all the trout away. See if we can pull one more out of this spot after I made all that dern racket. Just more noise, con constant noise. That's good, Joe. So the trout like the other attracted to the to the noise, you know. Still shallow, still getting things off the bottom, and this is a shallow uh, diver, shallow runner, shallow. Yep. There we go. So I've missed you guys, I've missed putting out videos. I put up a little bit of a live stream, not a little bit, I did a little live stream, uh, I don't know, four days ago or something. And I talked about why I haven't been putting up videos. And there's still a camping ban in Ontario. I don't agree with it, that's my personal opinion. But, oh, a snake just cruised through the uh, width of the, the river there. Anyways, um, yeah, it's my personal opinion. You can take it or leave it, but I definitely am not going to go camping and incriminate myself on video regardless. So it, the thing should be done in a couple weeks. The, the ban should be done in a couple weeks. Um, and I have trips planned already. And then you say to yourself, well, Joe, why don't you do day trip videos or day videos, go to the fort or something? Well, the last time I did that, I got really, really bad views on it, and it's just not what you guys want to see, at, le at least the majority of you. And um, while I want to please everyone and, and keep people happy, I would pr prefer and rather do 
always quality over quantity, right? So my last video got like 50,000 views in like three weeks or something. That's really not good for someone with over a million subscribers. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good. It's not good for sponsors. It's not good for morale, anything like that. So I've decided to, I decided to wait until I could camp because I really don't even want to go to the fort right now. It's full of bugs. The time for me to go to the fort is the fall and the winter time. That's when the, that's when you guys expect me to be there. That's when I have been there. That's when the views are good. This time of year I canoe trip. But this is something I wanted to do here today. I like I'm excited about being here. It's nice. It's it's a cool spot. I'm glad I got some fish. I'm going to have a lunch. I got some leeks. Everything's good in the world. It's a relaxing day. No bugs, peaceful. Um and I wanted to do this and that'll come through in the video and I'll be happy about it and excited to share it with you guys. What I don't want to do is just go make a video for the, the sake of making a video. I've done that before. You guys know. You guys call me on it. I feel bad about it. I don't want to do it. So I, I'm not doing it. I don't need to do it. And you guys have so very many other good YouTubers that you can watch in the meantime. There are so many videos from my that I put up in the past that you can watch. And really, I've only been gone for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? I put up a video a week, I've only missed two weeks. So after this, I'll put this up today, hopefully, and uh, this will make up for, for this week. Um, and yeah, I want to go out. I have, I have, if you just check on my Instagram, you'll see, like, I'm planning for trips. Like, I got food storage ready. I'm, like, dehydrating stuff all the time. I, I stay busy on my Instagram. You know, I'm going out with the family all the time doing stuff. It's just, um, again, I would rather give you quality over quantity on my YouTube channel when you don't want to see day videos. For the most part, you don't want to see me talk about an axe or a knife or go and do skills. That's, that stuff has been played out, right? There's other people who do that just fine. My thing is tripping. My thing is building forts in the, in the, in the fall and the winter. Big old fish just jumped. Winter camping, building shelters. In the spring and summer, I'm canoe tripping and backpacking. And that's what I've been doing for the beginning of my professional YouTube career. And that's what I'll continue to do. So anyways, today is a good day. Today is a day that I can be out and relax and enjoy nature around my place. And um, yeah. And this is uh, actually going a lot smoother than I had thought. I thought I was going to have to be cutting my way through actual trees. This is pretty. Although I don't see anywhere at all to pull over. Maybe here to have a fire and a lunch. But still, that doesn't look great either. Big trout, you can see over the water. Oh no, I just passed. Go we'll take a look around and see what's up. This is flowing. I bet you that's a spring. Flows into there. That would make sense. 
that would make sense why there's brook trout in such a shallow creek because the stream or sorry the spring would keep it cool oh yeah there's little minnows all in there in the creek like bluey <sighs> this is pretty lots of deadfall tons of dead standing I think I'll keep going up here a little bit see what else I see but if nothing else like I'm not going all the way through it today I know that like it's a big long trip this is just a day thing that would have to be a couple nights but uh, yeah if nothing else comes up that's better than this we'll double back here and have lunch here sounds like a plan oh there's a frog I like frogs I like the frogs you know hey frog I like you I like you frog Now is the real test. We'll actually see if I can step on the bottom of the stream or not. I'm sinking in a whole lot. Oh my god. It just keeps sinking and sinking and sinking. Nope. Nope. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Okay. Um, what about over here in the mud? Nope. Nope. Okay. I was trying to brace myself. Okay. Okay. I found some solid. Gr no. Ish ground. Some tracks here. Okay. This works. So I'll get rid of this log and then hopefully there's not too much down that away because the bottom of this, like the substrate, there's no walking on it at all. Like I don't care about getting wet, it's just I'm, I'm getting sucked right down into it. Like, and then that's the alternative. So, hmm, hmm. I wonder if I can get around just to see what the deal is down there. I'm kind of on a bend. Oh, jewel weed. This is really good for like uh, poison ivy and uh, mosquito bites and stuff. You just break it up and the juice is on it. You rub it wherever, on what ails you. you rub it wherever you're hurting. This one's been broken a few times and grown up. That's all in here. Jewel weed, jewel weed, jewel weed. So that usually means poison ivy's growing around here too. You have to be careful. Oh man, look at it. Is this a trail? What? That looks trail-ish. Anyways. Another log there, looking pretty shallow. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, frogs jumping everywhere. Sorry, guys. Okay, wow. All right. Holy 
Holy smokes. Yeah, it's all waterlogged and everything anyway. Okay. All right, we're gonna turn back. I go back to that spot we found. Cook up lunch. I'm hot and sweaty. It's a good enough haul for me with those leaks for sure. I'm just not ready to cook them yet. I gotta do a couple things first. I thought I could put them in this. Uh, I thought I could put them in this spring in the shade though, keep them cool and fresh. Here's a good spot. Just tie them up so they don't go missing on me. This is a cool spot, man. Super happy to be out here. I will never see a soul out here, I'm sure. Okay, those guys are good. Three little brookies plus some leeks. Balling! Like I said, I've got my hidden wood in day rock. Got some wet gear now. A chair I can make. Got a skillet, a cast iron skillet from Field Company. I saw axe a whole nine yards, so we'll get set up here. There's no real spot to put a tarp up, even if I did bring one to get out of the sun. Uh, I don't want to go back into the forest to have the fire. I want to have it out here on the on the mud, just because it's wet, wetter out here. Oh, I needed that. Okay, we'll get to work now. The cedar is so old, it's like lost its grain. show you deer flies. Get from him. Smoke, smoke. You ever read the name Penelope? The name Penelope reads like Penelope. Scorcher, bud. So people always ask me, how do you never have ticks? So I just found that little guy, that little treasure wandering around on my neck. So I do. I'm just trying to be vigilant about taking them off of me. 
She's a big one. Good fire. Well, believe me when I tell you, she's a warm one out. We're just going to uh, make a little chair real quick for us to sit down while we eat. Relax. Sit on this little hill, king of the castle, king of the castle. So if we can't get this to work out for us, I've done it with a, a regular canoe paddle before, but we shall see. I'm getting really hungry. Okay, this will work. Oopsie, better this way. I have to get it up higher too. I can do it with friction sometimes. Not this time, I'll have to tie it on. Nothing fancy, just tie it on nice with uh, overhand knots. This is fine for me for now. I have to get my leaks cut up. I'm really warm, did I mention that? Really, really warm. That fire is about to be ready to be cooked on too. <sighs> Lots of stuff going on. Check this out, check out how hot it is. I already obviously tested this, but look at it not been on the heat at all just in the sun oh wow anyways well butter never hurt anyone I think I have a handkerchief or bandana here so I got these leaks cut up pretty good decent amount Already starting to sizzle, that's delicious. Okay, clean up the fishies now. Okay, this is what I ended up with, not too shabby. Three really clean little brookies. This is the biggest one I got, uh, from biggest to smallest there. But that's plenty of meat for me. I decided not to fillet them just to do this because you know, there's not that much meat on them. They're pretty small, but this is uh, this way. I'm plenty happy with it. So let's let's get these guys on. Uh, hopefully, slow fry them up with the uh, butter and the leeks. Yep, boy. I had to take the pan off there because it was very warm. It's cooking it. I needed to have some butter left for my fishies. It's <laughs> a good sound. Oh, well, this guy's already starting to do a little barrel roll. Oh, snap, they all are. To the side. To the side, boy. To the side. To the side, fish. Boop, 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 boop. That looks delicious.
so tender. I don't want to like bust it up too much just yet. I am excited for this. It looks really good. The one of them did have parasites in it. That's why I ended up skinning them. They pulled the skin off and it looked like it was all clean, so I cooked it a little bit longer. But only two of the boat, like the five or so that I ended up getting in the boat, had parasites. And I let the one go and kept this one. We'll see how she goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Super good. We'll get some leaks with that. Some leaks in there. And that bite. Holy oh, smoky. <sighs> Cheers, folks. Oh my. That's delicious, and I actually have some lemon. I forgot. Wow, that is delicious. The leeks complement it so well. It like the the brook trout like soaked up the flavor of the leeks. I have just this fake lemon. We're gonna give it a test run and see how I like it. Man, that's really good. Super happy on that. You know what? As I was sitting here cooking this stuff, I was like. Thinking like this is all I ever wanted. I, I, I drove my side by side from my house to this spot, down some long roads, whatever the case may be, put in just for the day, threw my line and found this spot because I looked it up on the map or on, on Google Maps. Found this spot, put in, caught a few trout, found a spot to chill, set up a little camp, a little like day camp, freaking cook these things up. Nobody, nobody's uh, like nobody's business, and uh, just enjoying the day. Like I never could do this stuff where I used to live. And I also didn't have the knowledge to do it. Oh yeah, the lemon works on it. That fake lemon works on it. I didn't have the knowledge where to fish for what fish, or where how to find things, or how to even clean these fish like I did. You know what I'm saying? I used my hands other than my belt knife slitting up the belly type things. Just pull it all apart. I just know how to do it now. You know what I mean, I, I've, I've practiced, I've caught them, I've been with people who taught me things. I'm able to live up here now where I'm able to raise my kids in this environment and I don't have to like wonder anymore and like just wish about things like even with my YouTube channel when I lived in Windsor I would drive up here or wherever I would drive hours and hours and hours away from my house to do these trips I never knew what the what it was like like I was leaving southern Ontario and coming up north it could have been completely different like snowy rainy Ice still on lakes, whatever the case may be. Now this is my backyard. Now I get to get the feel for it and understand you know, like the seasons and know where to go and what type of what time of the year for what things. I really am happy we moved up here. Like it's uh, we did hum and haw. Uh, don't get me wrong, we were back and forth about it for a while, probably a couple years after we moved up here. We almost moved back down. We were uh, just missing family. Everything was very difficult, very expensive. Like we lived. It's a two-hour round trip to go do anything, right? And now that our, our um, internet is fixed, it's a little bit better. But I was paying so much money because where we are in rural, I couldn't get normal internet. And we were going over like crazy, driving in for two years, two or three, almost three years to upload in two a two-hour round trip. Now that's all fixed. Just just sitting here, understanding, realizing, thinking about that stuff, appreciating it. You guys are a big help with, with that. Very big help. I would never have had the motivation to do any of this stuff, even from the get-go, if I never got good words of encouragement from you guys and stuff like that. So, oh, shit. And then the continued support. It's just amazing. I'm sure everything will 
resume for, for a little while at least soon. We'll be able to get back to quote unquote normal. I'll do camping videos for a while and see where, where that leads us. I'm going to do this as for as long as I can until YouTube doesn't let me anymore, until you guys stop watching, until I'm not allowed to fish or camp or make a fire anymore. That's the way it seems like it's going. But, hmm, we'll stick it out in the long haul. This is my home. I really appreciate being able to, to do this and to continue to do this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lunchtime gratification with Joe. Lunchtime appreciation with Joe. I'm picking this guy clean. Three of these is going to be plenty for me. Look at that. It's perfect. That's perfect. And then you take a couple spoonful of leeks. A shot of lemon juice. Woo! Some Felix the Cat going on here, though. All right? All right? Showing my age there. Mmm. Super good. No seasoning at all. Just that little bit of lemon squirts. Lemon squirts and leeks. Leeks will be done soon for the year. They get too woody soon. Two woody woodpeckers. <laughs> Who used to watch Woody Woodpecker? They had Chili Willy the penguin. Was an, was a an offshoot. <laughs> now I understand why he laughed like that. There's all sorts of pileated woodpeckers around my house, and they scream all the time like crazy. All right. Anyways, enough of that. I'm going to uh, stuff my face. I'm really, really enjoying it. I wish you guys could taste this. Come on, Elon Taste Division, and uh, I'll get back with you guys. Here's a big old juicy nugget. Leek nugget. For those of you who don't know, they're like a garlicky oniony type thing. But once you roast them or cook them up, they lose all like their bite. They taste really good though. I wish I would have saw that guy before. We could have had a little lobster side. A little bush lobster side. Creek lobster, creek side lobster, as it were. <laughs> well, I'm absolutely stuffed. That was way too much meat for me. I don't know what I was thinking. We got it down. It was very good. Super tasty. Taste of leeks, burnt leeks in my mouth, which is always good. Personally, oh, I like the crispy bits. Uncle Ray. <sighs> All right. Breakfast is for days. We're going to get out of here. We're going to start paddling back. We're going to fish along the way, take our time, but I'm pretty, uh, pretty warm and pretty content with the day. And I would also like to get this video up and, uh, and let you guys see it, share it with you. So we're going to get packed down. spot for lunch for sure I will certainly come back maybe a cool spot to bring the kiddo catch a couple brookies you know
can't forget you guys. Can't forget my camera. Oh, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it, Joe. You can do it. You can do it. Yep. I don't forget about you guys. Another little one. And I know the mess with it, popped them right off, perfectly clean. Nice. Alright, we're all packed up, ready to go. That's the other side. It looks much more congested, but I think it opens up better according to the uh, Google Maps anyway. The old Googles. So maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll head down that way. But we are done for today. Thank you very much for coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, hope it was a pleasant surprise seeing a video from me. So I will see you guys soon. I promise. Big trips planned. I promise. I promise. All right, guys. Thanks again. Oh, look. A tick on my camera. Perfect. And I bet you there's this one in my head, too. Feels like one in my head, too. Oh, it's still on me, son of a... Dory! Almost forgot you again! <laughs>